and welcome back once again my name is Chekube Madichie in this video we shall be learning how to create variables as well as inputting the relevant data into the eViews work file which we have already created of course you can see that this is our work file which we created in the previous video now um, here in this work file we have the data range from 1970 to 2015 giving us 46 observations and of course the sample size the sample ranges from uh, 1970 to 2015 in the work file we have the constants uh, parameter and the residual these are the default uh, and constant uh, items that are in the work file okay first of all uh, we have to ensure that the data we are going to import into the eview work file is ready preferably uh, in an excel file okay now what we are going to do is to move to that excel file and look at the variables and the data we have of course you can see rgdp mop rgdp is re gross domestic product mop is manufacturing production and top is trade openness um, it does not really matter the variable name or what which acronym you are using to represent your variables what really matters is the description what they stand for actually so you can see the data range from 1970 to 2015 as we can see here we are going to work and find a way to get this data as we have it here into our eView work file now what are we going to do here having seen that the data is ready what we are going to do here is to you can look up here you see various items there you start with quick can you see quick yes click on quick you see a lot of things here but we are going into the empty group where we have edit series this will lead us to the eview spreadsheet where we can now import the data so look at the eView spreadsheet just like uh, excel spreadsheet so this is where we are going to import the data as well as the the variable names so what we are going to do is to ensure first of all that the straw bar here is at the top by clicking up now we already have the data you can see the variables here so what we are going to do is to write the variables the way they appear here in our eView work file spreadsheet so you click on this uh, column you have rgdp you click enter you leave it at numerical series numeric series okay you click here again mop you click enter okay t o p enter click ok now you can see that um we are seeing n a n a here means not available that we have created the variable names but the data relating to them has not been added so that's why we are seeing n a which means not available so what we are going to do now is to now go back to the excel and copy the data okay copy the data the user way of copying we move back to the eView and you click here right click you paste so now we have pasted the data of course what we have here this spreadsheet is in edit format so it is in edit format which means we can add or remove uh, data from here and now having uh, copied our data into the 
uh, if you work for our spreadsheet you can see that everything is complete here having done that we are going to close the edit by clicking on edit here you can see the pointer once you click on it it will close the edit as it is now you cannot edit again unless you click again on the edit so that is it and um, we have to also name the group you know this is a group when the variables are arranged in a tabular form having all the series we call it group so we have the group one here having the data we have we have, Im have imported into the EV work file so you can name it group by default it is group one the first group in the work file it is called group one so you can name it so um, now you can now close this you know uh, we can now close uh, uh, you can now close this it is already saved in the work file so you can see the group group one you can always open it okay uh, you can close it you can see the uh, series mop you can open it individually uh, you can also see the rogdp you can open individually you can as well see gop can open individually so here those ones are called series individually they are called series mop rogdp top they are called series while the group of everything when you group them it is called group remember the receipt is still here the constant parameter is still here to register the relevant information for and get them ready for further uh, test okay this is uh, one way of uh, importing data into the eview work file alternatively uh, for the pros those who are uh, uh, you know uh, who have been have had uh, clear knowledge actually better understanding of if you can as well use another method to do that now for you to do that let us first of all close this uh, work file and go through the uh, alternative method and the alternative method is rather faster than this particular method so we close this down and 